Well, hello, fishy folks. Good morning and happy water change Wednesday. So, got some changes in the fish room. Uh, my last video, I said I was going to try to get down here and work most of the day on Sunday, or at least part of the day on Sunday. And of course, best laid plans, that didn't happen. I did work a little bit. I did get uh, the floor clean and I moved some stuff around, and the bench was clean. And there's a tank on the floor. Uh, actually, that tank I just put on the floor this morning. It's Tuesday morning before work. Uh, came down here to feed the fish and wanted to finish the project. So here's the 40 breeder where the koi angels were. And now there's neon sore tails. Um, I started with, I think, <coughs> one male and three females. I think that's what I started with and I know I had a jumper uh, early on within the first two weeks of having them one committed suicide and um, but then there were some fry that dropped and there's, there's been a couple batches of fries since I got them I have to look back in my videos and see when I got them because I did an unboxing from Imperial Tropicals uh, in the stream Corey from Aquarium Co-op stream that I was in on Sunday. Somebody asked where the best sword tails come from or where to buy the best sword tails. And I've only bought sword tails from one place and that's Imperial Tropicals. And that's because uh, I've never, I had never seen neon sword tails or koi sword tails at my local fish store and thought they're pretty interesting. Um, of course, shortly after I got them, he got in an order of neon sword tails from one of his distributors. They look terrible, so I was like, yes! Um, but then he got some sword tails that his cousin grew outside, and they were every bit of that big. Even without the sword, they were, they're just ginormous. But not everybody wants sword tails that big, so... Uh, I've sold him some neon sword tails. I've sold him koi sword tails. Um, so I've actually made my money back on my investment um, if you're just counting the fish, not including food, I'm sure, but um, still early. So, you can see there is quite a bit of different variety in size in here, and it also looks like there's a guppy or two. So, we'll have to get those out of here. Um, and then, as you know, there's that tank on the floor. Just to remind you of the store of these tanks, I bought four of these tanks. Um, one like this and three the opposite way so the bottom was wider obviously they come from you know they were from a system from a fish store or a pet store i got them on craigslist i paid 40 bucks for four of them i think i sold three of them for 60 bucks and i have this one left so so i'm gonna try to get rid of this i'm gonna call the guy that that uh, I sold my other one too and see if you want my other three to see if he wants to buy this and if not I'll probably throw it up on Craigslist or Facebook or something to try to get rid of it cheap too, probably like ten bucks anywho uh, So that leaves a space What are we gonna do? Oh, I see an airline hanging uh, We're gonna add two more tens up there for uh, Guppy row out or guppy tanks. I think I think that's what we're gonna do now, that tank I noticed when I was finishing up removing the acrylic tank from up top is low on water, and I don't know why. So I'm going to have to investigate. Uh, green Cobra tank of guppies, and I don't know if you can see in the back, but there are fry finally. I actually found them Sunday. Oh, nice dirty glass. Sorry guys, you know I don't really care though. Not about you. I care about you. I don't care about the glass. Uh, yeah, there's. I counted a, a bunch of fry. I counted a bunch. I saw a bunch of fry. Which usually means there's more than a bunch. So I'm very happy with that because these guys are pretty spectacular looking. No fry from these guys. Um, a little surprised actually. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Lots of little fry in the yellow cobra tank. Lemon cobra tank. Whatever we're going to call them. Here's the batch of uh, green cobras I removed. I took out the males with the red tails because I thought they were pretty nice. And just some nice females, I thought. So, 
This will be my breeding colony eventually, and these these guys will sell. Nothing from the blue diamond tank either. Um, I don't know how long there hasn't been a male in there, but those those females do look pregnant, so hopefully we'll drop we'll drop some fry. Silver tank doing well. Silver tank of fry. Uh, there's one of the runts on the bottom. So. We'll see what happens. I noticed when I fed, they hardly got any food. So I may actually separate them and try to grow them out a little more. We'll see. Mm, so those parents doing better. No. Don't, yeah, there's fry in here. I did see fry this morning. In fact, there's one. So these are the, the mutt guppies. Not really mutt guppies. These are the guppies I got at PetSmart that some of them had those fancy, uh, that fancy dorsal fin and the nice flowing tail, and there's a little sword on that tail too. And I separated all the males like that, and what I hoped were virgin females, and we'll see what the fry look like. Yeah, nothing new here, fry in, the, in this tank. No fry in this tank. Um, I may be putting them in a bigger tank, because they should have dropped fry by now. I mean, there's three juveniles in there, but with the amount of females and as big as they are, there should be, you know, a hundred fry in here. Uh, and there's plenty of cover, so I don't think they all would have gotten eaten. But, you know, whatever. Nothing new, nothing new, nothing new, nothing new. Lots of duckweed. So, in the live stream, I talked about my goldfish, which is right there good looking goldfish and you can see there's hardly any duckweed in his tank because he eats it so I just come down here I take a handful or two handfuls drop it in his tank and he eats it all right so here are some neon sore tails and koi sore tails and it looks like there's some platies left maybe but uh this is originally where I was gonna house the the koi sore tails is that right? I forget what this tank was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I just, I, I liked looking at them and I didn't want to bend down and, you know, go through that pipe to the drain pipe. You know, you have to move your head around. So it was just grow out for a while. Now I'm not really sure what I'm going to do down here. Um, I'm going to take all the neons out, put them in with the other neons. Probably let the koi's grow out and then sell them from this tank. I won't put them in the other tank. I don't think, you know, best laid plans though, as we say. <coughs> Black layer tail molly tank. Lots of fry, lots of different generations. So, interesting enough, all layer tail females with the layer tail male, and that's how they were in the tank in the fish store, and I believe that's supposedly how they came, but not all the babies have layer tails which is a little I'm a little unhappy about in fact I don't see any layer tails let me know do they develop the layer tail or does it just kind of yeah does it just kind of come and look at that there's like a gray one that's kind of cool like a Dalmatian one that's interesting but yeah you can see the fry little fry down there bigger fry over there juveniles bigger juveniles I don't know if you remember, but the day I got them, that night they they dropped fry. So, woohoo! Um, let's look at these guys. I'm pretty sure these guys start with layer tails. I don't know. I don't know if I've paid attention that much. All right, well, layer tail question. Let me know. Uh, no spawning from the angels since the last spawn, which I believe is a total loss. These guys look ready. I thought they were going to spawn Sunday, but I did a ton of work up here, and that might have spooked them, so... Yeah. Oh, well. Solo and his mates. And there's Skunk. Yep. Veiltail. Very nice. Very nice. These guys are due for a spawn, I'm sure. In the next couple days, I will see more eggs. Um, it appeared that there was some spawning activity in this tank, but, uh, nothing yet. 
and same here there were two guys going at it as you can see they're kind of hanging over here and leaving that one in the back which would be fine with me if those two paired off but nothing same with the platinum tank i did notice some some strange activity yesterday strange meaning i think they were trying to pair up and uh so we'll see what happens Oh, this rack water on the floor. I got to figure that out. That's more water than I want actually I don't want any water, but you know a little drip there. I can deal with that's more water And it's weird because this is where it would be coming from because this isn't glued right here But it's not so I'm not really sure I guess I should probably watch it dry it and see what happens, you know do some diagnosing. Nah, I don't have time um electric blue rams yeah there's definitely something going on in this thing i think there might be eggs in that cave um but i don't really want to disturb it so we'll see what happens i did put some plain white pieces of uh tile in there and i'm thinking it's, it's what i had and in, in on hand um but it'll be really hard to see eggs i think on there so i probably will change that eventually when i can find some different color tiles i've gotten some some good uh, materials at a uh, home store I think it's called re home store and I guess they have materials donated from them and furniture donated from them and it's to help uh, homeless or less fortunate they can work there and, and obviously earn you know uh, a living or at least earn a wage so I think I got those tiles for 10 cents each and I've made some filters as you can see over there out of them so I go there every couple weeks and buy cheap PVC parts and stuff like that just to have on hand. Um, so yeah, home store I think it's called. Restore, restore. That's what it's called, restore. Nothing going on here other than, you know, maybe some breeding activity in the ram tank. That would be nice. Um, yeah. All right, last tank in the fish room is the Koi Swordtail tank. There's a bunch of fry in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them with the glare and blah blah blah, but they're in there. Oh, you see over there? Glare? No, too much glare. Yeah, there's a bunch of fry though. Trust me. All right, so I did a whole stream on breeding angels with Koi from Aquarium Co-op, and I think my last uh, my last spawn is a total loss, as I said. And this is going to overfill, I think. I gotta work on this. I don't like this setup here. Um, anyway, I had eggs and some of them turned white, which happens. And I just let it go. And I I saw, I thought maybe one or two free swimmers in here, but uh, really that's, it's probably just debris that was uh, floating around, being pushed around by the water, so. I'm gonna have to reevaluate this setup because other than the silver spawn, it hasn't worked great. It's worked, just not great. So, yeah, that's what's left of that spawn. There's five or six in there. I did just do a little bit of a cleaning in here. So, that's uh, the story with the angels. All right, guys, that's it for Water Change Wednesday. Um, obviously we got some work to do in our angel breeding program and uh, Hope everyone has a great Wednesday. It is hump day after all and uh, I'm gonna leave you with a nice picture of Solo's mom